If you're interested in buying Fallout 76 caps, weapons or items, check out easympc.com and use my code DTDG for 5% off via the link in the description. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Fallout 76 video on the channel. Hope you're all doing good. Today is the Atomic Shop uh, update, so we're going to be doing a review of it, checking out everything in there, showing it off to you guys for anyone that's at work, just want to hear me blabber on and hear my opinions. We're going to go through it, so if you enjoy, hit the like button, and of course, if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. Let's dive straight in and see what we have on offer today. Am I going to want to buy some atoms because I only have 600? We're going to bloody find out, ladies and gentlemen. Let me tell you. If I click on the right bloody screen, let me tell you. So let's do it. Free skins. Oh, the Wavy Willards. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, the bloody wall as well. We're going to have to buy some atom, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> now, hang on. Park swim trunks. Why is it called Wavy Willards swim trunks? That's a terrible name for a bundle. That makes you think that you'd only get in the outfits. But you do get the outfits. You get the swimsuit, you get the swim shorts. Um, I don't know what you... Oh, the floor. You get the floor in that picture. So in, in this bundle, you get the Wavy Willard swimsuit, the Wavy Willard swim trunks, the stone walls, the lazy river floor, which I'm guessing that blue floor, uh, and foundations. Uh, the Wavy Willard fake boulder set, which is that. And you also get the letters set. And that's 1,500 atoms. I really want that letter set. I think, personally, it looks really, really cool. I don't think they'll light up. We'll have to wait for Tonic's uh, review on it all for that. So make sure to be subscribed to Tonic. I'm not stealing his thunder. He does all the show and off stuff. I just do the main things every now and again. Um, but yeah, we'll be buying this, no doubt. And But if you wanted to go like... Oh my god, I haven't even got that plant pot. I'm going to have to buy that. If you didn't want to buy the full bundle, you would still need... If you wanted the walls... Yeah, it's worth buying the bundle, really. because, Or is it? You get that for 500, you get the letters for 500. That's the two main things you want as a camp builder, realistically, and the boulders. That's that's 1300, you might as well buy it all. Get the uh, floor as well, as well as the outfit. So you might as well. It's also got the large succulent set in it. Oh, it's a set. I thought it was just a single one there. Buy it, do it, bloody do it. Right, going on to the next one, we still have the Wavy Willards Wipeout, which is a whole bundle, but I've already bought the bundle, so... That's basically all you get in it. If you want to see last week's uh, review, go check it out. I did a little review of that. My first opinions on it and stuff. What the hell is this bundle? Camp structure bundle. Oh my god, they've done a prefab bundle? Oh my god. They're doing a lot of this lately. This is quite cool, you know. So you get the uh, steel backwards bungalow, which is that one. You get the Blood Eagle Nest, which is that one. You get the Flying Fortress, which is the plane. You also get the Makeshift Mega Mansion. And you also get the Red Rocket Garage. That is not bad, you know. I'm guessing it's probably 1500 for all of them, maybe. I'm going to guess it is. Let me know in the comments, guys, if you know the exact price of it. But even so, like, if it was 1500 Atom for one, two, for five different prefabs, that's not bad at all. That's a pretty decent bundle. Or you can buy them individually if there's only, like, one you want. I already have the Flying Fortress and the Mega Mansion. The Blood Eagle Nest is a pretty decent one, especially if you're in a raid of camps. Red Rockets are right as well, but it's it's not that hard, actually, to set in camps. I've seen a lot of people use it in camps, and it looks really good. The Bungalow one, 700 atoms. I think them ones are crap. I really don't like them, personally. Um, I know a lot of people use them and stuff, but I just I struggle to make it fit in with a camp, probably. Um, going on to the next set, we have the Shelter Catwalk Bundle for 1500 The Spring Bundle, which is a very good one. You get the... Roof sets, which used to use less budget. I've been told now they don't, supposedly, but I'm not 100% sure on that. You also get all the trees in that set. And uh, what the hell do you get in that picture? You don't get them walls. I'm thinking I'll just have another picture of the roof. But yeah, you get loads. Whoa. You also get some turrets. Jesus, okay. Uh, quite a lot of things in there. You also get the junkyard power armor on here. The catwalk bundle is a very good one. Very good for glitching and stuff. You used to be able to do floating camps with the catwalks. Don't know if you still can. Uh, if you can, let me know in the comments. Um, but yeah, you get a few things in there. You get the shelves, you get some lighting and stuff. You also get the little signs like eight room and stuff. I did a full review of that when it first came out. So if you need it, go check it out. You also get the carpets. And then obviously you get the power armor paint. And finally on the last page, what is that? Gardening camera paint. Oh, don't say it's for the stupid camera. Oh. Why well, have the waste of time making that? I'm sorry, but the <laughs> camera's a load of rubbish. Uh, on the bright side, though, you also... Oh, crap. 
We've got the Blue Brahmin Grill, which is not bad at all. 250 half price. You also get free fireworks, which I'll just claim. But on the other brighter note, you get 250. You get the Secret Service Bobblehead Sandwich. I'm actually going to buy just because I do enjoy it. I like the paint job of it. It's not Fallout First only, and it's a pretty decent thing. So Blue Brahmin Grill as well is all right, but I swear we get one of them for free in an event. I can't remember. I don't think it's... Is it? It's not Treasure Hunter. It's the... Um, it's a Grimm's cook off bloody meat week. It starts literally in the very soon, I'm pretty sure, like the next week, I think. So, yeah, that's the Atomic Shot review, though, guys. I hope you all did enjoy. Make sure to check out all the new items and stuff when you get on logged on and stuff. If there's anything you want, obviously, we did get the new stuff just there. Definitely, I'm going to be buying them letters. Uh, and the new wall looks awesome as well. If you haven't seen that, I did do a little date mine video showing that. It looks brilliant. I really like the look of that. So, looking forward to it. But, thank you all for watching. Have a good uh, rest of your day, morning, afternoon, whatever time it is for you, wherever you are in the world. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Oh, yeah. Don't forget to hit the bloody like button and subscribe. Cheers. See you later. <laughs>